Okay, this is this is the start of the the X Mage League Grand Champions. We're going to play three formats: Standard, Modern, and Legacy. I'm joined by Alex Helkius, fresh off his uh, Modern final. Hello, Alex. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've got um, Bob Debanese from Group Two, aka Giraffe, is on the top of the screen, and Whiskey Burn, who was Alex's opponent in the Modern final, is on the bottom. Who's Oliver King? watching this after <laughs> yeah uh, it's a standard I'm not I'm sure but I think like most people not too familiar with at the moment it's a pr it's a pretty yeah. new format I have not I don't remember what um, giraffe was playing and I've never seen whiskey in standard so it'll be interesting to see the matchup here oh yeah because um, we're both from group two along with Bob yep and, and uh, Oh, looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna have a guess straight away and say Bob's on the blue white monument. Either monument or maybe vehicles if he's still playing that. Ah, true. Yes. And, and, and interestingly for the viewers, uh, this could have been you in the final here as well, so it would have been a, another format final. Yep. Uh, because your your opponent in the last round, he's finished even with Bob on 26 points, but on the count back, um, no, sorry, yeah, on the count back, Bob had beaten you. And head to head, mm. so you finish twenty six even, but he goes through. And and that final round you played, interestingly, against Coron, I um, I speak to Coron a bit offline. Yeah. And uh, he he pointed out, which I didn't realize, it was his first one of the season. It was in the oh, last, was it? In the <laughs> last round. <laughs> it does look like he's on monument by that irrigated farmland. Yeah. So. And blue blue blueback control possibly. Oh, an early sensor. I think that sensor definitely shows that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know about this uh, this matchup. I, I'm the same as you. I play the blue-white monument. I, I think the deck's pretty good. Yeah, I do too. I think it, it was actually much better than I expected it to be when I picked it up and started playing it. So. Well, uh, yeah, I, I haven't really enjoyed Standard at all, probably since uh, Esper Dragons was the last deck I really enjoyed, but this one I actually really look forward to playing. And, uh, I'm going to probably going to go to GP Washington in September. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. Yeah, I had been playing Mono Black Zombies, which was okay, but it was just a generic aggro deck. This one has a lot more interesting lines to play. And it, it's just so... Just so um, there's so much card advantage. You can get your mm -hmm. get your creatures back again and again and again. I, I I haven't really explored the the new Hour of Devastation Graveyard Hate yet. I, I'm sure Black's probably going to play something to stop the Hour of that uh, Dust Dawn card. Where's yeah, that? I would think so. And that's interesting. Looks like he's on three color with that <laughs> forest into a land search. So search. So this I haven't seen. It's just a ramp spell, but. I'll try and see what the other side is. It's a draw two for six. I oh, see. So he might not At be instant speed. Draw two. For, yeah, he might not be on the monument then. The, the yeah. Ca the card doesn't really uh, go with the, the synergy at all. <coughs> I was going to say we, we recorded a match the other day with um, Rodrigo. I don't remember the match, but he he was on um, red blue control against yeah. the monument deck. And the control, the control just can't keep up, even with even with the sweepers. He just uh, the monument just plays a dust dawn next turn, and all the creatures are back again. No, that that was me in the standard finals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You won the standard so finals. Yeah, that was me. Uh, I've watched too and much in the last few days. Up. Yeah, it, it was it was kind of inevitable. I I was commentating that one as well, and it, it's even if Rodrigo got the top decks he wanted, uh, you just didn't see any way back for him. Nope, not at all. And it looks like he negated the ramp side of that spell, so it'll still go to the graveyard for the draw two later, but no ramp on the first half for him. And, and I'm guessing Oliver's probably like us and not really knowing what's going on on the other side of the board. So That when, would be my guess. Yeah, when in doubt, just counter. <coughs> Although to, it's worth noting, uh, Bob's down to three cards as well. Yeah. It looks like he's on three color control. Some sort of bunt variation. Yeah, and, and uh, Oliver's on 
Gri it looks like Grixis. Grixis. That or the Feeded Pools is just in there as a blue cycling land, one of the two. That, that's a good point. I, I, I think in your match with uh, Rodrigo, Rod Rodrigo had the Feeded Pools for that reason as well. He was playing Fatal Push at least post board. I don't know if he had it pre. Oh, no, yes. And, and he, he had the unlicensed dis disintegration as well. Yeah. And a Traverse. This is an interesting deck <laughs> that he's playing. He brought the brew to the finals. This is definitely not what he played when I played against him in the league, so. One, two, three's up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what the what he's getting from the green. Surely it's not just a ramp. P possibly Tamiyo. Yeah. The Traverse is good with Spring to Mind because it's an uh, instant on the backside, but a sorcery on the front so that gets you two sites two card types for delirium oh, that's a that's a good point yeah but what delirium payoffs are in bunt colors Poss uh possibly. they're all just mono green i guess yeah all in green yeah looks like we've got a glimmer from oliver here the classic draw spell in standard at the end of your opponent's turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm I'm curious to see what is um, you know, what he's building towards, because I I, I thought, I mean, uh, obviously I'm not in the finals, so I'm not <laughs> not in any position to comment really on right right and wrong with decks. But I, I thought Rodrigo splashing the black in that deck was probably should have been green, because he seemed to have an energy sub theme going on, but but no green to take advantage. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure. <clears throat> it depends. I, I guess that deck normally that he was playing would just win with Gearhawks and Dynavolt Tower and the Blacks just for some removal spells, but... Yeah, that's right. But I, I, I think the Tower without... Dynavolt Tower without green mana to... Oh, sorry, green spells to yeah. get the energy is a bit odd. Yeah, usually you at least see, like, a tune with Aether. Looks like this Thraven Inspector has gotten in for the fourth time this match, so 16 more turns and he'll have the win. <laughs> if, you look, if you look at Oliver's uh, graveyard, plenty of draw so far, and two, two draw yeah. spells and two counters, so probably a, a and reactive Oliver does deck. say exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> he tells the Inspector to stop pinging him for one a turn. <laughs> Well, if he's on a control deck, the, the Lumbering Falls is a good card against that. All the draw from Oliver now and Anticipate. <coughs> he did go bottom top with the Glimmer, so he found one card that he liked from that. <coughs> and now we're seeing him build his hand up some more with this. Three, four, five. So he's... It'll, it'll be interesting if uh, Bob is on the player on the top of the screen's on a control build as well. Yeah, so, it kind of uh, looks like it yeah, so far. So they're just kind of holding off. Um, Oliver doesn't want to play any of his removal to on a on a one two, but he might be forced to soon. We may be in for a quite long match here. <laughs> I'm guessing the spy buff bluff canals coming in tap then is probably his draw for the turn. I would guess, and I, I would think that maybe that bottom top was a gear hulk, and the anticipate was looking for a land for it. So Three, this four, may five. have been what he found. Oh, not mucking around. Nope. <laughs> Must not be much for him to do in his hand. So just getting in there with the lumbering falls. Well, I, I think the only thing that's a danger to the lumbering falls here is all in white mana which uh, Oliver doesn't have something like a blessed yeah. alliance yeah because he doesn't have enough to flash in the gear hawk yet so pretty safe to get in there with it yeah. we, we, we could see opposing gear hawks here mm -hmm. and 
looks like Oliver deciding whether he wants to... Yep, another draw spell at the end of Bob's Two, turn four, here. Five, a three, this one. Yeah, so draw three, discard one. Let's see what he discards. Sensor. Sensor. Yeah. A another thing of interest here as well is... Bob's on, on the Barnt colors, so if Oliver plays a Gear Hulk, he doesn't really have anything, because he's tapped out, he doesn't have anything that can really stop the Gear Hulk that's cheap. He's going to probably spend three on a Stasi Snare or four on yeah. a... Yeah. And I would actually consider, if I were Oliver right now, doing it main phase or before Bob untaps, just because with all that blue mana, he could have a counter spell of his own waiting for the Gear Hulk, so... Yeah, he's got the Glimmer in the graveyard as well. Yeah. Yeah, the, the four mana, uh, I, I forget the name, the enchantment from the new set. Uh, four mana white removal spell that exiles. Um, cast out. That's the one, yeah, cast out. I, yeah. I suspect he's probably using it as his removal. One, two, th three blue sources. Two, four, six, seven, yeah. Sorry if I go silent for a bit. I'm trying to eat dinner at the same time, so <laughs> no muting problem. myself so you don't hear the chewing in the video. <laughs> Here we go again with the Thraven Inspector. And you, you can see Bob now is respecting the yep. Gear Hulk. We could see battling Gear Hulks as they go here, actually. Oh, just a glimmer, so not in hand yet for Oliver. Still searching. Yeah, I, I think if he had the Gear Hulk, he would have cast it at the end of the of the previous turn when yeah. when, when he was tapped when Bob was tapped out. Yeah. But, but if Bob is on a control build here, we've we've seen Oliver now with two glimmers and a pull from tomorrow, so he's starting to generate a bit of an advantage. Bob the attack with Lumbering Falls makes me think maybe it's not control, because I'd think you'd just leave counter magic up if you had it. That or he just hasn't drawn it. Yes. So. Well, he, he's got the spring to mind, so he's probably... Yeah. Is The aftermath is the instant or the sorcery? Is the, the, instant. the aftermath is the instant. So. Yeah, so, so he'll probably get two cards at the end of this turn. Yeah. That glimmer went bottom bottom, so did not find anything he liked there. So just drew two random cards from that. And I uh, I think with the f the fumarole, it's quite clear now where he's on a straight blue red. Mm -hmm. And there's the and there it is the draw two. We could see so this a gear hulk into a negate or something out of Oliver here if he has it in hand six, now. Seven. Ah, oh, he's one short. Two, four, six, seven. The negate. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. There and it is. There it is. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I'm thinking Bob's probably on like a um, the the two mana white spell that destroys attacking creature, um, em emulating glare is probably the removal he's got for the Gear Hulk, but he, he's kind of set back a turn now because he's going to have to play that on his own turn, so... So Oliver can fight a Counterspell on Bob's turn. Yep. Counterspell War. As we said there, he's getting the negate out of the graveyard for the mind, so no draw to. It is a lot of mana. I would expect this Gearhawk not to survive, at the very least, through Oliver's next turn, unless there's a lot of counter backup for it in his hand. Well, yeah, n now's the time to play his Stasis yep, Snare or his Cast Out. If, if, if there's nothing here, I think he's in big trouble. Uh, uh, unless it's a spell that removes an attack, like a, an Emulating Glare or a Blessed Alliance. Yeah, that would be rough for him if he only has that, because that lets Oliver untap. <laughs> I 
not messing around. Just gonna get it out of there. And that's likely an okay use with those will probably come out yeah. for the sideboarded games, so one for one is fine. And he's got the land, so he's got his three mana pack of Yeah. With the double blue. Oliver is doing what every control player wants to do and hitting his land drops on every turn. Yeah, I, I wonder how much Bob was thrown by that fitted pulls early. Yeah. <laughs> like, like we were. It looks pretty clear now that, yeah, it's just there as a cycling land for late game. I think blue-red control can be a might be a deck to look out for moving forward with the new cards because it gets another pretty good board wipe and hour of devastation. Yeah. And I'd expect no plays here. Yep, just passing the turn. Oh, we are rogue. So there's a potential for a gear Hulk again. Now this is from Bob. Yes, but he, yeah, he, yeah. he can't counter the Gear Hulk here. Oh yeah, no, no, no counter now. Two, three, four, five, six, and Oliver would have three mana as well. O Oliver is saying he's experiencing lag issues. Okay. I was not getting any during my match with him earlier, so it may be on his end that that's coming from. Yeah, from what I understand, he's not playing at home, I don't think. He's he's away. I was wondering, because it seemed a little slower than I've seen him play before, so. Whiskey, I think I actually played him. Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> Void shattering the Thraben no Inspector. More, no more pinging for you, Thraben Inspector. And and he's probably thinking of the, the card draw from the clue as well. Yeah. Either that or he's just got a loaded hand of counter spells. With the card draw, this is probably like a one and a half for one if you count the one two as half a card <laughs> on its own. Two. There we go, just a land drop. So you've only got two cards left in hand. His grapple did not hit anything particularly good. He hit a Thraven Inspector, a land, and a Fumigate, so nothing he really wanted there. Has he got the Delirium here? Sorcery, like he does land, now. instant creature, yeah. Oh, so it's, yeah, the grapple now. It tells you delirium. at the top now. Really? It says four card types next to his Oh, creature. yeah, of course. X-Mage updated that at some point in the past. And another Gearhawk comes in. Well, he's got one... Bob's got one card left, so... It's a counter. Yep. Not for the Gearhawk, it I, looks I'm like... Sorry, Oliver... Maybe Oliver's interested in stopping the Traverse. I would guess he's just going to Void Shatter it. Two, four, six, seven. Yep, Void Shatter yep. is being targeted. Oh, Bob's out of cards now. Yep, so he gets rid of the Gearhawk, but he doesn't get his Traverse still, because the Void Shatter is still going to get cast by the Gearhawk's trigger. And Oliver's going to draw, so he's going to have five cards to play with. Yep. He can probably, uh, I was going to say he can fire up that funeral if he wanted to, but one, two, three, four. I'd still have five mana back up. Yeah. This one I think is going to be tough for Bob to come back from with the card advantage that Oliver already has. That is Although two Gearhawks two down. Two Gearhawks down, yeah. Well, I think the traditional builds of these red-blue control play the full four gear hulks and rely on, rely on the fumaroles to get the win yep it's unfortunate for us because that traverse would have shown us a little bit more about Bob's deck but now we still aren't sure what his win conditions are so yeah the I'm, I'm just looking at at Bob's graveyard and I, I have I, we haven't seen a single glimmer or pull from tomorrow mm -hmm. 
So, yeah. Maybe he has something like Ishkana to go get. It's the only real great Delirium payoff I can think of. Mm. You know, I'm wondering if he's running uh, Tyler's trackers as well. Yeah, I think that's probably likely to be in his deck. But and you could be right about the Tamiyo. I think that's a really strong card that never quite found a deck that made use of it. But Yeah, uh, for quite a while I was playing around with a, some sort of Bant control mid-range, I guess, that had the Thraben Inspectors with Tyler's Trackers into Tamiyo. Mm -hmm. it, it's, quite, uh, it's quite an effective build. Bob had a dead draw there, just got a land. Ooh, and another Gearhawk from Oliver. He's just drawn it all this game, it looks like. Two, four, six. Yep. That might almost be it. That'll probably cast a glimmer out of his graveyard, get him two more cards. He can get in for nine if he wants to, if he wants to fire up the fumarole. Nine will drop him to 13. So yeah. <coughs> Not quite a two-turn clock, but close. Although... Um... Oliver can block, uh, sorry, Bob can block with the Lumbering with Falls. With the Lumbering Falls, that's true. <coughs> I think that Oliver would probably make that trade right now, his Fumarole for the Lumbering Falls, so... Certainly. And Bob does have 22 life, so he's got a, yeah. a couple of turns to top deck. Having said that, though, he's up, he's up against uh, five cards mm -hmm. in hand. He went bottom top and is now cycling to get that card that he put on top into his hand. Well, he already has it from the Glimmer, I guess, yep. but just drawing a new card now. He... Yeah, cycling main phase is a bit odd. It was end of Oh, sorry, Bob's sorry. Turn. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's in a fair bit of trouble, Bob. Mm -hmm. No cards in hand. Like we said, the one blocker that could block either chump the gear hulk or trade with the fumarole if he does fire it up. <clears throat> we'll see now if that's what's happening here. Oh, he's still got another glimmer in his grave if he, if he was to get another gear hulk. One, mm -hmm. one two... Although this is his third Gear Hulk in play at the moment, yeah. so he's only got one more to go. Just gets in with the Gear Hulk, leaves all his mana up, so... Likely, even if Bob draws something good here, it's going to be tough. And a Primal Druid, <laughs> so maybe he's on... He must be on a merge. I would guess there's Deep Fiends in his deck then. Yep. This is, harks back to a standard deck from about 12 months ago. I didn't remember white being in that deck but it might have been subbed in for I think the old one was teamer with red but might have switched it out for white due to new cards yeah what have we seen with only Thraben Inspectors and oh Fumigate Fumigate cast out Thraben Inspector so maybe just for bigger removal than red gets That's aggressive. I guess it makes him not able to chump with it for a turn, so yeah, keeps his clock going. And he doesn't have a hard counter in the grave, so yeah, it, it could be a target for Gear Hulk later on as well. I guess, I guess it depends how aggressive he would want to get with a Gear Hulk in hand. Mm -hmm. This next turn, if he attacks for nine, he would... Oh, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so this will probably just get another Glimmer, get him two more cards. And now this is a two-turn clock for Bob. Yeah, I, I think now would be the time to get in with the, the Fumarole, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I would attack yeah. with everything on this next one. <laughs> Bob says all, all four neat. 
And it seems like that would be unlikely in 30 cards, but with the Glimmers, he's seen probably closer to 40 cards out of his deck with all the scries and everything. So yeah. not super unlikely to see all four. He's, he's got a lot of card draw as well. He's had the, the, he pulled yeah. for three, and he's got the Hieroglyphic Illumination. Anticipate. Here's another cycle. Yep. I, I think this is this is almost the point where if we weren't just commentating and we were judging, we'd probably st step in. <laughs> Mercy rule yeah. here. <laughs> or just walk away and know that this game's over. We can go check out another table and come back once game two starts. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I suppose Bob could pull a Fumigate off the top, but even then, for five cards in hand... Yeah, you have to assume there's counter magic in there. So if Fumarole gets in, that guarantees that Bob's dead in two turns, no matter what he blocks. So I think it's going to get in there this turn. And and if if he's tossing up Winty, he, he has to use a Fumarole like no. at some point. Oh, I was going to say... Um, I guess this turn or next turn doesn't matter. Well, he well, needs to attack with it one of the two. Next turn, Bob potentially has a, a card in hand, whereas now he doesn't. True. Uh, one, two, three, four to fire up the Lumbering Falls. Although with counter magic, he, was, he probably assumes that no matter what that card is, it doesn't matter. He will be able to counter whatever it is and still get in there with the fumarole the next turn. Oh, doesn't do anything. Possibly Gearhulk? But he's or maybe another cast out. Yep, that's a good call. Yeah, he, he's got no targets for Gearhulk anyway. Or a land that he's holding and bluffing and hoping that <laughs> Oliver decides not to attack for some reason. And a fourth, I believe, glimmer from Oliver here. He's, I think two of them are in exile. Yeah, two yep. in exile. So, th I guess third card, but probably fourth casting of Glimmer with all the gear hulks. Yeah. <clears throat> you, you, you'd assume he's running four glimmers with, oh, yeah. with the hieroglyphic elimination there it, it baffles me why when i see some lists that have that illumination over glimmer even for the cycling yeah the only time it's better is early game if you're missing land drops mm. but other than that glimmer is the better card once you get to four mana bottom top again so found something that he liked check facebook messages i have saying that he might clock it's it's 16 minutes That is tough if you're dealing with lag issues, plus the yeah. never stopping clock online. And oh, there is the Deep yeah. Fiend, so... Okay, that'll at least buy him a turn. Yeah, well, yep. what, what we were talking about um, on Facebook messages for those watching is uh, Oliver's down to 15 minutes of game time. And o obviously we don't want any games decided by some, somebody's clock running out. So uh, after this game, then we'll have to reset it back to a, to a new one. And what we're going to have them do, uh, he said this in the Facebook message, but for all you watching, we'll just have whoever loses make a game immediately concede so that they can sideboard and get to what game two would have been in this match. <clears throat> you, you don't see too many <laughs> X-Mage games go to time these days. No. <laughs> but it is a new set release, and often that does lead to some server lag because lots of people want to get on to draft the new set or play their constructed decks with new cards. Deep Fiend tapping down the Fumarole. Defeated pulls and likely both Gear Hawks here. The, the, the other thing to 
note here is that uh, Oliver's actually down to 11 life. Mm -hmm. So No counter spell. Yeah, the, the, the Lumbering Falls can get in for three, so Deep Fiend could knock him to... He could knock eight off. If, if he topped something yeah. else that's decent, he could get away with this one. I'm surprised no counter magic. Oh, just to harness lightning with 15 energy. <laughs> 15 so. energy. There goes the Deep Fiend. And, and really... Bob's back to square one where he needs another top yep. deck. It would have been really cool if he had had a disallow in hand, because he could have disallowed the cast trigger, harness lightninged the actual deep fiend and still gotten the win. What, what, what do you think at this stage, if you were Bob, would you have played that deep fiend out? I think since you showed the Primal Druid earlier, it's likely that as long as Oliver has played Standard in the last year, he knows that there's going to be some Emerge target and Deep Fiend's the best one, so I don't think it says a whole lot. Yeah. <clears throat> but there's some argument to be made for keeping it back. Yeah, because I, I, I think we, we, we were a bit confused what was going on until, yeah. until we saw that Druid. Here's a cast out, which is going to buy him another turn if there's no counter spell. And there's a negate. So that, that's game. So that should do it. So game one will go to Oliver King? Yep. And we'll have them Assuming pop out of this game and make a new set. Yep. Assuming <laughs> he fires up the fumarole. Yes. <coughs> Otherwise, if he doesn't, he will give Bob one more turn. And it, there's a concession, so game one goes to Oliver. Yep, and we'll see everyone for game two. <laughs> 